Starting off with the French made look, I'm going to prime my face with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer and then set that using the Airspun Powder and a damp Real Techniques sponge. Next, I'm taking my Tony D Cosmetics Slim Brow Pencil and using this to outline my eyebrows first. And then I'm going to fill them in using their brow pomade. Now I am carving out my eyebrows using my MAC Concealer in NC45. And then I'm going to blend that concealer out with a fluffy brush so that it's not so harsh. Next, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in the color 510W. And I'm going to lightly apply that to my skin. So I don't want like a super, super full coverage caked up look. I still want to kind of look natural. I want it to look like skin. So I'm putting a little bit of foundation, blending it with a brush, and then blending it even more with a beauty blender just to get a very natural skin-like finish. Next, I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in the color 410 Honey. And uh, yeah, I'm applying that to all of the high points of my face to highlight. This is only one shade lighter than my skin because I, again, want to look natural, so nothing like too crazy. So I'm applying that down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, under my eyes, on my chin, you know, the usual, then blending it out with the Beauty Blender. Then I'm going in with the Airspun Powder and just lightly setting that um, before I set my face. And to set my face, I'm using my Black Radiance Powder in the color Cafe. Next, I'm contouring using my MAC Contour Kit. Um, and yeah, just contouring my cheeks, my nose, my jawline, you know the vibes. Now I'm just baking the sides of my nose and my jaw with my airspun powder and I'm literally going to take it off like two seconds later because I don't want like a crisp, again, cakey look. I want to look natural but yo girl still got to look chiseled, you know? <laughs> So now I'm drenching my face in some Fix Plus to melt those powders. Next, I'm bronzing using the MAC Film Noir Blush. Um, and yeah, just putting some color back into my face with a big fluffy brush. Now to highlight, I'm using the Nicole X Anastasia palette and just highlighting my cheeks down the bridge of my nose and my inner corners of my eyes. Here, I'm just taking my bronzer um, over my eyes just to add some color there because I felt like it looked a little naked. And lastly for the face, I'm just applying some blush and this is Max Raisin. So now I'm just putting on a light layer of mascara and then I'm gonna let that dry and apply my brow gel, which is just the Essence Brow Gel. And then I'm going to apply the Belle Rebel Lashes in the style eye roll with some duo lash glue. Now for my lips, I'm first aligning the inside of them with Chestnut by MAC and then lining the outside with Brown Black from NYX. Next, I'm filling in my lips using the Modesty Lipstick from MAC and topping off with this MAC Selena Gloss in the style Hey Dad Pizza. <laughs> I'm saying I'm sorry because obviously you can't get this anymore, but I know MAC has something similar, so I will definitely link it down below for you guys. 
And yeah, this is the finished French made makeup. Just very natural, you know, I'm a pretty bitch vibes. <laughs> and then, yeah, after this, um, I'm gonna show you guys the outfit and we'll move on to the vampire makeup. All right, you guys, so for the fit, I got like these made pieces um, from Fashion Nova, but they have them on Amazon. I will link, I think it's sold out on Fashion Nova, so I'm gonna link the Amazon link for y'all. But it just has this cute little headband, the little made piece, the little apron that you just like, tie around your waist um these little like arm thingies so you just put this on your arm like that um and this like neck choker and then for my outfit i'm wearing this um tutu that i got from walmart this was six bucks from Walmart so I have that and then for my top I'm wearing this like little cropped organza shoulder top that I got from H&M like a few months ago if it's I can find something similar I'll link it below but I don't think actually I got this last year so yeah I'll try to find something similar and link down below for you guys and last but not least I got these um we'll call it like thigh highs with these white thigh highs with a little bow on um no from halloween store from party expert but they are um they do slide down so i am gonna wear like garters underneath so yeah that is the outfit oh i didn't show you guys the cutest part and i diy'd the little feather duster because i didn't have time to order one off of Amazon so I just cut up like a white feather oops okay shed like crazy but I just cut up a white feather boa that I had and attached it to a paint brush so yeah that's the main costume <laughs> all right you guys so this is the full French made look. So now I'm popping in some red contacts just to give me like a vampire eye. And I'm using my Amorezi palette mainly for this look. So I'm taking Yugo and BX and mixing them together. And I'm literally just gonna sweep this all over my eyes. Um, well, mainly in the crease um, and on my outer V and very like smoking it outward so that it gives like kind of a cat eye effect, but not really a cat eye. I just really want it to be smoked out. Next, I'm taking a clean br fluffy brush and just going around that so that there are no harsh edges. It really just meshes into my eye. I kind of want to give the effect that my eyes naturally look like this, even though obviously they don't, but yeah. Next, I'm taking another fluffy brush and I'm going underneath and doing the same thing. Thing. I'm going to not keep this just at the lash line. I'm going to drag it down sort of into like the creases of the bottom of my eyes as well. Then back in with the clean brush to continue to blend and smoke that out. Next, I'm taking my NYX liner and I'm just going to lightly line the upper part of my eye because we're not applying lashes, but I do want it to kind of stand out. And I'm going to use this same liner to draw a little cross on the corner of my eye, like a little cross tattoo. I don't know why, I just felt like the look needed this, and I really like it. It adds to like sort of that badass, bad bitch, vampire type of look. <laughs> Next, 
Next, I'm taking my airspun powder, dipping into it, and using that to set my face. So we want to look really matte for this look, because um, obviously we're dead. So yeah, you want to look really matte, and um, I'm using the airspun so that it will also kind of lighten my skin a little bit to make me look a little bit like grayish, if that makes sense. Now dipping back into that Amrezy palette, I'm taking Yugo and BX to contour my cheeks. I'm literally just going into the hollow and deepening that contour and then I'm going to take my actual contour brush and blend that out. But you see how it now creates like a cut that's a little bit sharper in my cheek? Next I'm taking those same two colors and smoking out like that part near my inner eye and then dragging it down and then contouring my jawline. Next, I'm dipping into the Jackie palette. I'm taking that red color, I think it's called Wigglies, I'm not sure, and smoking that underneath my eye. This kind of has shimmer in it too, so I like sort of the, you know, um, whimsy kind of look it gives to the eye, because it brings out like the red in the contacts. So yeah, and then I'm gonna go back in with the other color just to smoke that out even more. So now for the bite marks, I'm just mapping them out first with um, a like eyeshadow brush and BX just to see where I want them to be. And I have them on my chest instead of on my neck because obviously I'm going to wear the made outfit choker. So yeah, I like where they are. So I'm just going back and forth between BX and Yugo and creating like a bruise look on my chest. I'm just blending both back and forth back and forth and then I'm just taking my liner and just drawing a dot in each of them just to show like where the I guess puncture wound would be from the teeth and then I'm just tapping over those so they don't look as like dark and obvious and lastly, I'm taking some of this Mayron blood. It's like that like clumpy blood. So it does like, you know like when you poke yourself and how the blood comes out like a bubble. So I'm putting that on first so that that happens. And then I'm going to take this spray on blood. You want to spray it out on something first to make sure it ain't going to spray all crazy on you. And then I'm going to spray it um, on my chest so that it looks like obviously it's the blood dripping down clearly so excited that the blood is actual color of blood and not like that fake red <laughs> so I decided I wanted a deeper lip so I'm just wiping off the lip I had on before and I'm going to line my lips with night moth from Mac and fill them in with mixed media this isn't available anymore but literally any like deep purple lip will do Now I'm putting on another layer of mascara just to make my little baby lashes pop a little more. <laughs> and I'm just putting a little drop of blood out the corner of my mouth and that is the finished look. All right, you guys, so this is it. This is my super easy vampire maiden Halloween look. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can leave them down below. Leave me a comment telling me what you're gonna be for Halloween if you're gonna celebrate Halloween. I know Halloween's kinda of canceled, but you know, you can, you can dress up at home, we can take pictures, you can look cute. Um, make sure you tag me on Instagram or Twitter if you recreate this look, which is just at the real me. D and uh, yeah, everything that I can, I can find will be linked down below. I don't have anything else to say. But thank you so much for watching. Bye.